students, nice to see you again. In this part, we will learn about biodiversity and its conservation part 2. What is in that? In this, we will learn about types of conservation. There are two types of conservation, in situ and ex situ. And we are going to learn about them in detail. And the thing that I am telling you is very much important topic. It is from examination point of view. So take a keen look. So I was about to tell you about that and how they have been extincted and what are the reasons that they can be extinct, different animals. Different categories are there according to red data list of the organisms in which they have been categorized into different categories seen over there. According to the number or if they are present or not, in which number, in many number they are present. Different categories. So the first category is extinct. Extinct is uh, a taxon, a unit. A taxon is uh, extinct when there is no reasonable uh, reason that uh, the last individual has died. I mean there is no clue we can say that the last organism has died. We don't have any information. And then uh, example is dodo. As you can see all species evaluated adequate data. Then extinct in the wild EW. It means a taxon is this uh, extinct in the wild when the exhaustive survey is known or exposed uh, expected habitat are there but they have failed to record an individual. Habitat they have started that yes that can be there and but we don't have any information they, did, uh, they existed or not extinct in the wild. Next is critically endangered CR. Critically endangered. It is critically endangered when it is facing uh, an extremely high risk of extinction. Any species, any taxon. Uh, in the immediate future, then it is critically endangered. Example is a uh, pygmy hawk. Pygmy hawk. Uh, this is critically endangered example I'm writing. Next is endangered. Endangered means uh, less than critically endangered but it is facing very high risk of you know uh, extinction in the wild in the near future then it is uh, this endangered and uh, example of endangered is uh, red panda. And then there is a vulnerable. Vulnerable means uh, when it is not critically endangered uh, or endangered but it is facing uh, facing high risk of extinction in the wild in medium term future then it is vulnerable. And vulnerable example is black buck. Black buck. Then least concern, less created, adequate data is present and then evaluated, they are evaluated, data deficient, no data is there. And then not evaluated means they don't have even be evaluated till now. So different categories are there. Rated list categories. So example, as I told you different categories of the organism. So different according to that category, organism has been categorized to different categories. So there are the example, very important example guys. In multiple choice questions, in subjective question, you can have this kind of example, uh, this kind of question where you have to write the example as well. So at least two, three examples you must learn. Even in the multiple choice question, you have to identify which one is endangered, which one is critically endangered. So learn it. So uh, loin tailed macaque endangered uh, this uh, slender loris, hulog, gibbon, tiger, asiatic loin, leopard of panther, leopard cat, they are like endangered, threatened, endangered, threatened, vulnerable and then palace cat, rear, uh, Indian desert cat, rare, endangered, wolf, endangered, Indian fox, threatened, red panda, endangered. This Asian elephant endangered. So scientific name has also been written guys. Uh, you should also have information regarding the scientific name and uh, important again you can find question. So next thing conservation. 